This video demonstrates the Zen implantation by Aquasis. Uh, we are going to mark the limbus three millimeters posterior. This will be our planned exit site of the implant as it emerges through the sclera. And we put a couple of marks adjacent to where we wish the implant to emerge from. And this is in the supranasal quadrant, which allows us to access the anterior chamber through an infratemporal incision, as we see here, made about a millimeter into cornea. This is a 27 gauge needle through which the implant is positioned. You see the metal sleeve around the needle itself and there's the implant coming through the bevel of this 27 gauge needle. The needle is then inserted into the anterior chamber and the entry point into the angle is facilitated the use of a gonio mirror to enter at the level of the meshwork, pushing the needle now through the sclera in a direction so it emerges from the sclera at about three millimeters posterior to the limbus. And this is where having the initial corneal incision and the angle of approach has helped us to ensure this position. Once the needle is entered into the subcon space, the uh, device is then implanted. Uh, first, the device comes forward and the needle retracts back into the hub of the cannula. Important to keep the cannula in position against the angle to ensure adequate placement of the device into the subconjunctival space, intrascleral tunnel, as well as the anterior chamber. And here you'll see um, shortly the position of the intracameral portion of the implant here visualized under the cannula, about a millimeter into the anterior chamber positioned away from the cornea and parallel to the iris uh, as we prefer it to be. And looking closely at the subconjunctival space, we'll see that the implant uh, emerges three millimeters posterior to the limbus as planned. And we see a slight curve of the implant in the subcon space pointing nicely to the superior quadrant and we see how soft the implant lies nicely underneath the conjunctiva. Here's a gonio view of the implant in the anterior chamber showing nice position here, entry at the meshwork away from the cornea and parallel to the iris uh, in position. We'll then evacuate the viscoelastic that has been placed in the anterior chamber with some BSS and we will then see a bleb that will be raised shortly in the quadrant of interest. Although there is a direct communication from the anterior chamber to the subconjunctival space, the built-in resistance within the Zen microfistula prevents excessive flow and hypotony. The bleb, which is visualized here supranasally, develops into a low-lying area of elevation in the postoperative period.